all have busy lives, things to do, and obligations which in turn can lead to a tiring, stressful, or even an unproductive lifestyle. But you shouldn't just stop there, letting time pass in an undesirable way. A little bit of stress, sadness, or misery here and there is okay because there are times those feelings are inevitable. In fact, if stress is managed correctly, the stress can contribute to a more positive outcome because you're pushed to do better. In order to maintain a healthy lifestyle, both physically and mentally, there are various aspects to control in life. I even like to say that physical and mental health are correlated. If physical health isn't well maintained, so will mental health be affected and vice versa. Let's talk about physical health. What is it? Physical health is the state of your physical body. It's the physical well-being. Take care of your physical part first and see your mental health improve. First of all, what I remind myself is to drink a lot of water. Our bodies are made up of on average 60% water. At home, you probably always have water and when not at home, bring your reusable bottles. Eat clean most of the time. Outside foods are super business oriented and they do not care about keeping healthy. Eating out occasionally shouldn't hurt and it's a fun way to socialize. Make food prep and cooking a lifestyle and you might start to enjoy the process of it. Get adequate amounts of sleep. I like to say at least 8 hours of sleep each day, but people can run on different amount of hours of sleep. Getting enough sleep can improve mood, become an energy booster, and it'll just help you accomplish tasks throughout your day more efficiently. Incorporate some sort of physical activity in your day. I think 30 minutes is sufficient, ideally cardio, but I'm usually not in the mood to do anything intense, so I would go on an easy hike or walk around the neighborhood. Next, on to the mental health aspect. Like I mentioned before, take care of physical health to improve mental health, then try to adjust your lifestyle to optimize that mental health aspect. To optimize mental health, do what makes you happy. Know what's harmful so you know to avoid them. Understand the issues first, then work around the issues. According to research, there are several mental health risk factors, including genes, stressful life situations, bad health conditions, unhealthy usage of alcohol and drugs, or unhealthy human relationships. While some of the risk factors are out of your control, like genes, some of them are possible to control. Your actions can alleviate some of the issues that have been bothering you. After all, you yourself is the best help for yourself, although of course other people are there to help you as well. So earlier I mentioned do what makes you happy, of course in a healthy way. Does surrounding yourself with others who have similar interests as you improve your mood? Reading books to gain knowledge or calm your mind? Taking on a hobby you always thought about doing but never got to do it? Going on a food adventure with a friend? Going for a photo shoot and making yourself the main character. Appreciating nature and enjoying the breeze. Starting a TikTok channel. Another thing I'd like to add is people really don't care, so why hold on to something because you're scared of judgment or disapproval? I'm still in the process of learning to think less about how other people might think of me. But as I grow older, I definitely became more comfortable around others and became less afraid about what others might think. So much better to fully present yourself the way you want to and find out that people are actually really nice and they won't make you think less about yourself. If they do, you probably want to stay away. Discover what drives you and your mental health should be healthy. Hope this video inspired you to live a stress-free life. LOL, thanks for watching!